What is up guys, Crypto Renegade here with another video for you. Uh, in today's video, I am going to give a live demo and tutorial of Shapeshift's new private beta with their Keep Key. So uh, should be pretty interesting, um, and especially if you've never seen it before. So uh, before I do that, um, uh, just a quick reference to my website, bitcoinlockup.com. I just published an article today on Shapeshift's private beta review. Uh, with their keep key integration and it goes pretty in depth so uh, go ahead and go to the website and check it out and then also there'll be a link below for that and then also click this orange button to get my free ebook on the five best ways to secure your cryptocurrency it's free so you have nothing to lose there um, so we're dealing with this and this is the keep key oh, oh, keep key device okay and before when I originally got the keep key I was obviously a uh, a retailer for them, so I, I, I sold a handful of them. But um, this is a massive improvement on the user experience, and I'm really excited to show you guys kind of how it all works. Um, so let's jump right into it um, because I believe that this is the hardware wallet of the future, uh, especially with all the exchange hacks that have been happening and other things that you uh, you know that have come to light recently. So. This allows you in the platform to not only trade while keeping your private keys safe, it's the ultimate non-custodial solution for uh, protecting your private keys and for trading. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So going over to this tab here, I just plugged what you just what I was holding up. I just plugged it in, so now it's asking me to enter my PIN on my device. And on the device, every time you plug it in, it scrambles the uh, numbers there so that you can punch in your pin and authenticate the device. So um, it looks a lot, you probably are wondering why it looks a lot like Exodus. I mean, this, this platform is so smooth and so user friendly. And the fact that you can protect your private keys and that you can uh, you know, trade and manage your portfolio with a hardware wallet is a game changer. You know, Mostly what you have to do is trade your private keys over to an exchange and then they own the keys. Okay. Then you make your trades and then pray that it is a reputable exchange and they'll let you, you know, take your keys off and, and onto your hardware wallet. But ultimately, when you do that as well, you're paying fees for every upload and every download of your private keys to your hardware device. So this is a good way to not only trade, but it's a good way to, you know, keep your private keys on the device at all times in a very, very easy way. So let's take a quick look at this right now. So first, as you can see in the upper right corner, the keep keys connected, which it will show as soon as you authenticate. In the drop down menu here, if for any reason it doesn't recognize it or you need to do a firmware upgrade or update, uh, you can pair the keep key and then you have membership settings and then log out. So, what's the first thing? So, here's the dashboard, right? It shows me that on this I have five assets I have 15% Litecoin, 38 or 31% Doge, 29% uh, ETH, 23% BCH, just for testing transactions. Now, I was invited to this beta. Um, uh, by Shapeshift directly because of my experience with hardware wallets. So uh, I'm really grateful that they allowed me to do that and I was able to provide feedback and uh, in the group there, in the private group and, and help improve some of these processes. So kind of help speed this along. So uh, again, here is the basic chart. It shows the day change. You can go to an hour change and this is for your, all of your assets so that you currently have on the device. And you can obviously change your graph with the week, month, year um, and then all time so uh, one of the cool things here is this integrates all of their services it in integrates the shapeshift uh, trade engine it integrates coincap.io which is where all this information is coming from and then of course the big thing here is it integrates keep key um, so uh, over here it'll have just kind of an overview of the recent transactions the percentages uh, that it's gone up you can check the spark line in the charts what your asset allocation is, the amount that was done in the trade, and what the current USD value is. And you can, of course, customize that um, based on what your local currency is. Um, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and take a quick look at the assets here. This will show you all the assets that are currently um, available. So the top ones that you see here are the ones that I have on the device currently. And then um, the ones that are kind of grayed out, you can see are um, all the coins that are currently supported for the trade in or for the keep key. So, uh, as you can see, BNB, BAT, uh, Bitcoin, obviously, uh, Civic Dash, BGD. There's a lot of ERC20 tokens that are 
that are included here. But uh, what's also cool is they have several um, stable coins. So you can use Tether if you want, uh, True USD. Uh, and then there is Ethereum stable coin, which is DAI, which is now supported as well. So that's that's really interesting as well. So there's a handful of coins, I believe. Uh, you know, there's over 30, 40, or possibly 50 assets that are supported here. I'll have to double check again. I put it in my review, but I don't know offhand. So I'm going to demo a trade for you guys here, just so you can kind of see how this works. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade ETH. And this is just for demo pur purposes, because I only have $1.23 on here right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do ETH, ETH uh, convert my ETH uh, to DAI, the stable coin here. And as you can see, there's a sliding scale here. You can do minimum, half, max. Uh, for this, I'm going to do 30 cents of ETH um, and then hit trade. And so what this pops up right here is the pin for me to authenticate the transaction and authorize it so I can sign. So let me enter in my pin. Okay. And then on the device, I know you can't see this right now, but on the device, it's asking me if I want to authorize the trade. So I hold down their single button, uh, gives me a check mark, it uh, to uh, gives me the, the total transaction fee, I authorize it again, and it's done in two clicks basically. Oh. I know it flashed in error, but it looks like the trade is actually in progress. So what it will do is it will actually pull up the, um, and again, this is a beta, so not every bug has been worked out, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak preview. So this will actually pull up the Block Explorer and show the transaction that's in uh, that's in uh, action right now. And then if we go back, you know, it shows they have some animations, trades in progress, and then I authorize it on the device. So I'll go ahead and close that for now, just so you could have seen. And, and of course, I'm earning Fox, which will help lower my transaction fees or trade fees um, as you start to accumulate that for every trade. So that's a huge bonus. Um, you know, if you want to do support, uh, it kind of gives you an, an, an overall view on that. But if I go back to my dashboard now, um, it, it's it's basically processing right now the uh, transaction that I just made, and will show up in just a moment. So you can send as well. So if you want to send any of these assets to an external wallet, you basically this is just like the regular Shapeshift platform on on web and on mobile. Um, you just basically choose whatever the coin is that you're wanting to send um, you know or you can receive directly and when you do the receive you can actually scan the QR code as you can see here uh, with your mobile device if you want um, or you can copy the address and do it on a desktop wallet and do it manually as well and what it will do is it will show up the QR code also on the device itself so that's really really useful and then they also uh, implemented now a buy crypto option, so you can buy Bitcoin, ETH, or DAI directly. It's done directly through wire, um, and right now it's only available to US, but this is a, a way for you to get uh, uh, acquire Bitcoin, ETH, or DAI very directly in a very, very quick way, and then the fees are less than 1%. So a lot of people that are buying things, uh, you know, I'm sorry, if they're buying a crypto with a credit card or a debit card, they're paying substantial fees, usually 10 to 15%. This will actually connect to a bank that you authorize and it's less than 1%. So it's one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, options for um, getting uh, crypto uh, to your account fast. And when and when it gets the transaction gets authorized, it goes directly back to the keep key. So one of the things here um, that I wanted to just quickly point out is that as soon as that trade is done, I can disconnect the keep key and then the private keys are still secured even though the the block explorer is still authorizing the transaction. So uh, looks like the exchange was already complete. Um, so it's done. Let me go ahead and refresh this. Sorry, I'm running some things in the background. I probably shouldn't have done that, but let me go ahead and refresh this. And then there we go. There's the die already in the already in there. So it goes very, very quick and it's it's a pretty seamless. Um, I don't know what your experience is with hardware wallets, but this user experience, even in a beta state like it is now, is so much better, so much easier than Ledger Nano S, so much easier than the Trezor. 
Um, and the fact that I can, in, you know, initiate trades um, and never release my private keys to those exchanges it is to me one of the biggest selling points of all. So um, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments below, go ahead and, and leave a comment. Uh, if you like this video and found any value in it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And then please subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have a lot more demos, reviews, things like that as well. And then also in the link in the description, um, if you want to get access to this private beta and test it out, uh, go ahead and click my link below. If you, if you click my link and you sign up and you uh, refer five people from your own link, you get a free keep key. So that's pretty awesome as well. Um, and then um, go ahead and uh, comment below if you want a discount code on top of that. So if you don't want to refer people, but you want to get a, a discount for 50% off on your uh, new keep key uh, and get access to this private beta, comment below and then I'll message you directly and I will make that happen for you. So again, thanks for watching and go ahead and subscribe and leave the comments and have a great day. Crypto Renegade out.